So today we're in Blacksland doing a 30 panel job with a Tesla Powerwall. Uh, we've got Brad, he's going to explain what a blackout situation looks like with a Tesla. He's also going to explain how important Tesla and battery backup is in, especially the mountains, the Blue Mountains, a lot of blackouts recently. These guys, perfect timing to get solar and battery installed. We're also going to hear from Dylan. We're going to hear how we can run cables from a two story basement to the roof. Um, what that looks like using um, the old uh, kind of cable run and how we can fit our cables in there nice and neat. And then we're going to jump on the roof and we're going to see what it looks like to be on a terracotta roof and how important it is to be careful where you're walking and how important it is to have spare tiles so we can change them out. Let's do it. So when we're laying these panels today, um, we've got some aerial guide wires in the way. So what we do is we measure the first panel so it will sit perfectly and the gap between the panels is about 20 mil. So these cables here will sit perfectly in between the two panels, not touching it, and it can still support the massive aerial. In areas like this, when the aerials are super high, we need to make sure we keep them on the roof, otherwise they'll just blow over. super important to have spare tiles because when we're walking panels on the roof um, we're about 20 plus kilos more and because of that everywhere we step we could break a tile at any moment so when we have spares we change it out straight away and then the roof is uh, sealed and secure um, it's also safer to walk on and you don't have broken tiles everywhere so we have three roof faces that we're installing on today the one behind me here is complete ready to go um, we've got six panels sitting there ready to um, produce lots of solar for our customer we've got our back face over here the boys are currently laying those being very careful as they walk on these terracotta tiles and then the last face is just here so we're about to throw these ones up and walk them out So we got our, our end phase eye board and our Tesla gateway. So they're the main points of communication from, from roof and battery unit to the uh, customer's phone when they get it handed over to them. And it's very nice that we've been able to use the, the whole area here inside and keep everything inside next to each other. Just um, looks a lot better and a lot easier for us to install as well. Um, so it's a bit of conduit work. We've only got a single brick um, out, of, out of wall here so there's no, no cavity to be able to be used but we ha did have access to this uh, existing uh, trunking here that they've previously used when they've ran their circuits for the whole house so we've utilised that and that gave us easy access up straight up to the, the top roof so above us here that's the second story and then it drops down to a, a single story behind us here um, and because it's a, an older home there's no sort of obstruction in between the two stories for us which a lot of new homes do but because a older home up here in in the mountains we can uh we have a straight access straight up with a with a ferret um yeah traditional three-phase home nothing really complicated with this one no conduit on the outside all internal um once we put this cover on be like we weren't even here all you'll see is this tiny bit of conduit coming in the bottom and then everything under here is nice and hidden under the under the shelf as well so basically what we've done is worked out in, in his house the loads that he's got that would sort of be required to be backed up, which is mainly just your light and power, which so then you can have your fridges. The client has multiple fridges here and um, between having that and then the couple of light circuits, um, we've pretty much just backed up the light and power to ensure that the fridge and all of that stay on. So if there's a, a blackout, he's not going to lose his, any of his food or whatever, it'll keep it on. Um, and also part of the solar will also be backed up as it's a being an AC system. We can keep um, a third of the a third of the solar running, which um, normally is enough to cover the house in a in a blackout and still trickle charge that battery. So overnight, whatever they use normally is enough to then keep it in there and let them wake back up in the morning. Let the micros wake back up and kick back in and get back to it. So we've um, just backed up basically the lights power um, as we don't want to get the sauna, he's got a sauna and a spa and uh, hot water, which are quite large loads. So if we put that on the backup and they turn on when um, the power goes out, he'll lose his backup 
quite quickly, which is not what we want. We want him to have be able to have all that essential stuff running, which um, having a sauna and a spa is, is nice, but it's not an essential. So we um, keep it to a minimum so then they can get the maximum out of this battery. That's such a great point, Brad, about one third of the solar is still operating. And that's quite a unique feature to end phase. Isn't yeah, it? with this AC system, pairing it with this Tesla, we're able to um, keep part of that solar running for them at all times pretty much. So then they can um, have the the best possible solution that they could that they could get safest and best yep. possible solution and that's what we offer that's so good man. is that because it's a three-phase home if this was a single phase home would more of the solar be backed up it'd be up to the up to five kilowatts so like the way that with the single phase home we basically will back all the solar up but we the tesla and the we run a cable which make the tesla and the envoy communicate to each other so when the blackout happens it'll ramp the micros down and they may all produce but they'll be ramped right down so they don't overproduce and the battery trips out so that then keeps it at the five five kilowatts going into the battery so it can produce more to cover the home and then put five kilowatts into the battery so that's what that, that's um, another advantage with it. It makes it charge at full capacity even when there's no power.